Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be installing AMD OpenCL graphic drivers for Ubuntu 20.04. So let's get started. Those of you guys who didn't know, you actually don't need to do this step if you're just planning to use it to play games like on Steam and stuff like that. Graphic drivers are pre-installed to the kernel already on the latest Ubuntu versions. So this is really geared towards if you got a software that requires OpenCL like DaVinci Resolve or TensionFlow, stuff like that. Now, um, also I've been doing some testing with streaming. You're gonna also notice for you guys who follow my Discord, I put up a couple of series of videos where I was actually trying to install this graphic driver onto Ubuntu and following the instructions that Rock M supplied, I was getting nowhere. The graphics wouldn't install, so I was spending a lot of time on the streams and everything, showing you guys behind the scenes of what I would do to get the dra graphic drivers working. And luckily I, I was able to get it to work. Anyway, uh, this video is really for a reference for myself, also for you guys, for, for anybody who actually needs to install the OpenCL drivers for Ubuntu 20.04 and couldn't get it working. So let's begin. So here I have a fresh install of Ubuntu 20.04. And the only thing I did to it was uh, app get update to download the latest repositories as well as install DaVinci Resolve just to show you guys that it is not working. So if I head over to DaVinci Resolve, it is gonna show you this tour menu. I can skip the tour. And you're gonna notice quick setup and the graphic drivers have this exclamation mark on there. I can't find the graphic drivers or... Now if I hit continue and go through these steps, uh, it's actually not gonna boot, coming from Adobe Premiere. It's actually not gonna boot and that's it. This is it. It's, it basically created an error message and I'm not gonna be able to start the program. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what I did to get this to work and what are the missing steps that they did not supply. Here I'm just gonna go Google and search for AMD Rock M. And now I usually go to the second one. The first one works too, but I'm gonna go to the second one and this will bring me straight to this page where they have a quick start installation on the left. Now I'm gonna follow this step almost close to it, but I'm gonna add some process to it. So let's whip open a terminal and I'm gonna make this as big as I can. And over here, we're gonna do sudo app update, which I've done before. Let's just do it for safekeeping. Uh, you should do a distro upgrade. Uh, I think I have like 20 packages or something, or 21 packages, or 59 packages that I need to upgrade. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stress about that because I don't really need those. But what I am gonna do is sudo app install lib numa dev. Okay. But I need to add another thing to the end of this, which they didn't put in, which is lib n curses five it's going to install those two and we do need to reboot it before we can move on installing rock m graphic drivers but what i like to do before i reboot is to add these extra couple of steps in so this will actually add the repo in so i'm going to copy this while this is still installing and once this is done i could just paste this into a terminal enter that it's going to add the key and this will actually add the repository so I'm gonna pop that, hit enter, and sudo app update just to grab the latest stuff. Now I'm not gonna install anything right now. I am actually gonna reboot the computer because that little thing that we installed, libnuma, requires a reboot. All right, and uh, we are back. So what I'm gonna do is open up my Firefox and because I didn't cleanly shut it down, it's gonna pull back on my last website. Uh, open up my terminal, make this a little bit bigger. And I am ready to do this next step because I already grabbed the things. So sudo app install rock m d k m s. And it's going to be about three gigs. Yeah, I was right. Downloads about 500 megabytes, installs about three gigs. This takes, I don't know, a good five minutes or so. So I'll just leave this, let this run. If you wanna jump ahead of the game a little bit while this is happening, you could actually add yourself to these groups. So I'm gonna open another terminal. While that's happening in the background, I'm gonna do sudo user mod dash A capital G video, and I'm gonna add myself to the video group. Now, here's another thing that they didn't mention. You actually gotta add yourself also to the render group. So those are the two groups you need to add yourself in. 
and that's basically about it um, I also do want to install this little next step and because they have like a little break here what I do is I copy this part paste that hit the space and then copy this little part and then paste it here and I accidentally clicked on something and I am gonna add that so the next time it reboots I'll actually add the path from the rock M into your um, command console so you could actually type out rock M info or something like that just to grab the status of your OpenCL now this is gonna install into the modules again this is the part where it takes about five to ten minutes and we're just gonna let this run all right and we are done what I'm gonna do now is reboot the system because I did everything already as far as adding the groups, adding the paths, and installing the drivers. The next reboot, I should be able to test my DaVinci Resolve without any errors. Okay, so we are back. And just so I'm clear, I'm actually going to go into the terminal. And if I type in CLI info, my information comes up. If I do rock m info, also information comes up it doesn't error out or anything now i'm going to hop over to dot local which you guys don't need to do this and i'm going to remove the davinci resolve folder this way if i pop open the program again resolve it's going to go back into the getting started screen and if i have, go to skip tour quick setup now you should see the graphic card has a green check mark that means it detects the opencl it detects the graphic card and the program should open. So I'm gonna go through this step again like I did a couple of minutes ago. Hit continue, Adobe Premiere, hit continue, start, and there we have it. DaVinci Resolve Studio is now started in text open CL. Uh, the first time it's starting this program, it always takes a few minutes because it's generating Fairlight or Waveform or something like that. It's generating something, but usually the next time you open it, it opens right up really quick. Just to this, get to this screen without erroring out, is already a great thing because if it had an error in it it would have not started it would have just bounced back like it did before like show error so there it is guys davinci resolve started right up and if you guys have any tension flow programs that you want to test i'm not too familiar with uh running rock m or amds with tension flow so i don't know what software i could try to actually get this to go but once you get OpenCL working, you should be able to get TensionFlow working. Uh, I'm not sure. They have something with the Python versions. and uh, Anyway, I'm not going to get too into it because I read some thoughts about it and I wasn't planning to use this for TensionFlow. I just needed to get DaVinci Resolve working. That's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a little quick tutorial on how to get AMD graphic drivers working on Ubuntu 20.04. So if we have something like a Pop! OS or Elementary OS that's going to move over to 20.04, Hopefully, we should be able to get this working on them as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below and I'll try to answer it as much as I can. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also, hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.